why everyone should be hybrid training. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Alyssa Lenick and I have a PhD in exercise physiology. I'm a running, cardio, lifting, and hybrid training coach. Our slogan is hybrid on your terms. And today I wanna to talk to you about why hybrid training is probably the best way to train for all people. Now, hybrid training, yes, I know isn't new. You will get tons of people who say, that's just strength and conditioning. I've been doing that my whole life. It's called just training like an athlete. However, when we think about the way fitness has been commercialized and or sold or the types of fitness most regular people have been doing, the people we mostly want to get active for health and performance reasons, it's usually one of these few things. It's just cardio, group fitness, or bodybuilding. And the reason I love hybrid training is it's a style of training that involves kind of all of those things into one training system. The reality is when we think about what has been established in the scientific literature, a combined mode of training or a combination of cardiovascular and or strength and resistance training appears to be the most optimal when it comes to most adaptations for health. It is not a question of which one or either or, it's and or both. We see this even with the basic exercise recommendations. The recommendation of 150 minutes of moderate to vigorous physical activity per week and or a mix of that with 75 minutes of vigorous to very vigorous exercise intensity per week. A note and caveat there is that that can be either or and traded off two minutes of moderate to one minute of vigorous or very vigorous and have a combination and or addition of both in a single week. But those are established as our minimum when it comes to cardiovascular exercise training. That is essentially at least 50 to 60% of your heart rate max or greater or higher intensity stuff across the week divided into as many days as someone can fit in. Then we have two days of full body resistance training per week, ideally at least 30 minutes at a time. Now, don't shoot the messenger here if that feels like too much or a lot for you to start with, but those are just our minimum exercise guidelines. Those are the things that have been minimum establishments for health for most people to reach for for reducing disease risk or improving lifespan and or life quality. Then from there, when we think about things like our health adaptations, there's an overlapping benefit for all of these. When it comes to benefits of the cardiovascular system, yes, we see benefits and improvements with most measures with strength training, but that is maximized or greater with cardiovascular training, and ideally we want to see both of those together. Similarly, when we look at changes for even body composition, we see improvements with, yes, strength training and cardiovascular training or exercise doesn't drive the needle forward as much as energy deficits coming from our nutrition, but the combination of both training and the same training program appears to have the best effect for body composition long-term, both by developing muscle and or preserving it, as well as driving up an energy deficit through cardiovascular training or being more aerobically capable across the board. I can go on and so forth and give you examples of this from what helps us from a health benefit standpoint for most things. When you look at the literature, it's usually not one thing on its own is better than both of them together. And we think about the most important components of health, we have aerobic fitness and physical strength. Two measures that are tied with our longevity and our ability to age well, not only age longer, but also live a higher quality of life, are going to be things like our VO2 max, our maximal oxygen uptake and aerobic capacity that we drive forward and or adapt or improve with cardiovascular training. On the other hand, we have strength parameters. Things like grip strength and or max push-ups aren't necessarily themselves the ideal thing for longevity, but they're a reflection of our overall strength we have across the board. Ideally, if we wanna think about improving not only our health and our quality of life across the, our lifespan, we wanna think about building both. While hybrid training may be trending, not everyone needs to be a maximized high-performance hybrid athlete to benefit from these things. My point here is that every single exercise training program should have a component of cardiovascular training that's specifically designed to improve physical activity across the board and drive up cardiovascular fitness and health. Similarly, we should have a component of strength training that is there to at least drive up strength and or gain as much muscle as we can or reduce the decline of that or maintain that as we age. Hybrid training for most everyday people is the optimal sweet spot for them to maximize their benefits from a health standpoint and a body composition standpoint, as well as aging and longevity and just being functional across your life. For many people, they get to the point where they're not just training for looks or performance when they're young for sports, but how do they move well and keep up with their kids or their grandkids or the activities that they love? Hybrid training allows us to do all of those things. And again, it can start with as simple as the minimal exercise guidelines, two strength days per week and some combination of three to five days of 20 to 30 minutes of cardio at a time of various intensities can be simple and a place to start. And for some people, they might think, well, that's five days right there. You can do this as simple to start with three or four days and a lot of movement and activity across the way with other modes of activities that you love. But an ideal training program is going to be involving concurrent training, which is the scientific way of saying hybrid training, which means that in any given day, 
week or month of training or your overall major training cycle, you have training goals or training programming that involves improving or including both sides of the spectrum in a single training program. The healthiest and fittest people both have cardiovascular strengths in their training as well as physical strengths in their training. And the way this looks for everyone is going to be different. We call it hybrid on your terms because it's all about meeting you where you're at, your fitness where it's at, and or where you even wanna go with it. Again, not everyone wants to be elite, but I bet you most people wanna feel good, move well, and be healthy. And that's what hybrid training allows you to do. If you're interested in hybrid training, this is what we do. This is what we specialize in and we can help you do that. We call it hybrid training on your terms because it's all about what works for you, where you're at and where you wanna go, and we help thousands and thousands of people each year figure out what hybrid looks like for them and how they can incorporate that in their lifestyles. Busy moms, grandparents, women in menopause, dads, or people training for their first trail race, their first 5K, and or high rocks, and everything in between. You don't have to train or can be compete, you can just be a regular person wanting to do cool things, or just move a little better and be a little bit healthier, and we can help you do that. Click the link below to learn more about what we offer, and if you have a question about hybrid training and how that can work for you, let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to help you out. Otherwise, hit subscribe so you don't miss the next one.